Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit today about the science of learning and behavior. Through the science and learning of behavior, that's how we, we train our dogs. That's how we influence their behaviors uh, to make things better for us and better for them. And this is a controversial subject in dog training circles because the people that don't know, the people that can't explain, will simply tell you, uh, well, you don't need to know science to know how to train a dog. Well, um, so dog training is, a, is an art and a science, and you can't make the art unless you really understand the science. Um, it's like gravity. I, I don't need to understand the science to explain gravity. You know, a guy would tell you, well, things go up and then they come back down. Roger that, Captain Caveman. Tell me more. And they can't tell you more. They can't explain why things happen. And that's the power of understanding the science behind learning and behavior. I can tell you what's happening. I can tell you why it's happening. I can tell you what the options are for dealing with it, reinforcing or punishing, making it more likely or less likely for those things to happen again in the future. And very importantly, I can explain it to a client. I can tell you why those things happen why they're happening, and what will work to change or modify that behavior. So stay tuned. What I'm going to be talking about soon are the four quadrants of operant conditioning developed by B.F. Skinner or Burhus Frederick Skinner. There are two reinforcers. There are two punishers. Two of those things are make it more likely for a behavior to happen again in the future. Two of those things make it less likely for that behavior to happen again in the future. Positive punishment, negative punishment, positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement. I'm going to break each one of these down and explain what they are and how they work.